When you first see the Newbie Drone Infinity all-in-one V2 stack, it feels like an elite tier endgame product. The one-piece solution to your mini quad needs. But is it? I've been using the Infinity all-in-one V2 stack for the past five months in my custom-built 5-inch freestyle quad. Trust me, it's been through a lot. Like, a lot. It's been stuck in trees for hours, smashed into concrete, steel, and glass, sat out in the sun, and flown with props so mangled you may not even recognize them as propellers. I believe this adds a lot of credibility to my thoughts on the product. I'll mention now that I'm not sponsored by Newbie Drone and I bought this stack with my own money. I've been running the Newbie Drone Infinity AIO V2 in my 5 inch HD Apex frame with Newbie Drone Smooth V2 motors, Cadix Vista with the DJI camera on 6S. I switch my props around pretty often, but mainly I've been using Ethics Peanut Butter and Jelly. It features an F7 flight controller with the BMI 270 gyro and a 55 amp ESC rated for 3 to 6S, running BL Heli 32. Essentially all great things. On a quick side note, if you have this stack or just bought it and flashed it to Betaflight 4.3, your battery voltage might not show. I'm not sure if this has been fixed yet, but if not, enter this into your Betaflight CLI. DMA ADC 1 1, press enter, then save press enter. You should be good to go. Anyway, looking at the stack physically, it is an attractive product. The LED lights on each corner are a nice little touch and you can just turn them off if you're not into that. The first disappointment is that it uses a micro USB plug. This to me is disappointing because I feel like we are transitioning to USB-C for everything. So for a product launched in 2022, which advertises itself as future-proof, it already begins to lose points. The only solder pads it features are the ones for your battery lead and then 12 more which are divided by three for each motor, of course. Aside from that, you have to use their wire harnesses into plug ports. When it comes to using a Cadex Vista or DJI Air unit, there's absolutely no problem as the plug is pretty standard and the cables it comes with are durable and definitely usable. Unfortunately, the same is not true for all the other UART ports, which would be used for all your other accessories, including an external receiver. This plug is not easy to use at all, as the cables are tiny, and it requires you to pull out all the cables you won't be using from the plug if you don't want a wiring mess in your quad. I'm using this for my Crossfire receiver, and while I haven't broken any of the extremely thin cables from crashing, and it has worked fine, when it comes to an elite level product, I'd like the option for soldering pads, or at least if the solution is going to be a plug-in cable, one with thicker wires that look a lot more durable and are easier to tell apart. The ESC is durable. I've flown it with mangled props, it's been through a bunch of turtle moaning, and even after being out in the heat, stuck in trees for hours with lipos plugged in, it has not burned out. Same goes with the flight controller, of course, since it also survived all that. Something very important to keep in mind when dealing with a product like this one is that your risk is less diversified when it comes to breaking parts. Because as is in its name, it is an all-in-one. Break an ESC, you need a whole new $150 stack. You break a flight controller, you need a whole new $150 stack again. Pull a pad off while soldering, you need a whole new stack. In an ESC and flight controller separate stack, you would only have to spend half the cost in these specific repairs. Fortunately though, it is very durable, so I wouldn't be too concerned, but it is something to note. Overall, this is a solid stack which has proved to be very durable and performed well. It is not as future-proof as advertised and is not the only stack you should buy. It has flaws, mainly being the plug-in UARTs requiring you to use terrible quality wire for your receiver and other accessories. In addition to this, it uses the micro USB and with no Bluetooth, that isn't very future. -proof. I'll probably be using a different stack for freestyle in a year's time, but one thing is for sure. If the V3 can pick up on these flaws, Newbie Drone is pretty damn close to the perfect infinity all-in-one stack they wanna make for us. See you next time.